maritime lecture about the solving of quadrantal angles and special angles sa ating trigonometric fraction. So, may na-discover tayong shortcut na gusto kong i-share sa inyo na pwede natin matandaan yung value ng mga ating special angles and quadrantal angles. So, gawin lang natin, drawing natin yung ating kamay. Ayan. Then, i-label natin bawat finger ng ating special angles and quadrantal angles. So, we have the 90, 60, I have the degrees, 45, 30, and 0. So, we start mo natin kay sign. So, to get the, to determine or to remember the value of the sign, we have the formula sine theta is equal to the square root of number of bottom finger divided by 2. Okay. So, example tayo. Sine 90 degrees. Sine 90, so takpan natin. Then, square root of number of bottom fingers. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, square root of 4 fingers. Then, formula over 2. Then, square root of 4, that is 2. Over 2. 2 divided by 2, that is 1. Next, try natin 60. Sine 60 degrees. Tapos 60, square root of number of bottom fingers, 1, 2, 3. So, tatlo, 3, over 2. Ayan. Pwede simplify? Hindi na. Next, 45. Sine 45 degrees. Square root of 1, 2. 2 over 2. Hindi na din pwede simplify. And last, uh, next is 30. Sine 30 degrees. So we have 1 square root of 1 over 2. 1 finger divided by 2. And 0 sine 0 degrees is square root of, wala na tayong finger dyan. So 0 over 2. Square root of 0 is 0 over 2. And that is 0. So, pwede natin i-check gamit ang calculator. Yan. So, sine 90. Sine 90, that is 1. Next, sine 60. Yan. 0.86. Kapag ginawa natin sa exact value niya, that is square root of 3 over 2. Sine 45. Sine 30. Oh, pwede natin tayo simplify. Square root of 1 is 1 over 2. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng 0 0.5. And sine 0 sine 0 that is 0. So, ayan yung short quadrantal angles and special angles. So, same technique sa ating part 1. Drawing lang natin yung ating Maria. kamay. Then, we have the formula for the sine of uh, cosine tayo, sorry. So, cosine theta is equal to the square root of fingers above, number of fingers above, over 2. So, paano natin siya gagamitin? So, cosine 90 is equal to cosine 90, wala naman tayong daliri above. So, that is 0. Square root of 0 over 2.
square root of 0 is 0 over 2, and that is 0. Next, 60. Cosine 60 degrees. Square root of 60. How many fingers about? So we have 1. So square root of 1 over 2. Square root of 1 is 1 over 2. So 1 half. Next, 45. Cosine 45 degrees. 45, we have two fingers about. So square root of 2 over 2. And 30, cosine 30 degrees. 30, 1, 2, 3. Square root of 3 over 2. Kapag pwede simplify, simplify natin. Or in this case, hindi natin siya pwede simplify. And plus, cosine 0 degrees. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, square root of 4 over 2. And that is, square root of 4, 2 over 2, which is 1. So, pwede ulit natin i-check gamit ang calculator. Calculator natin, cosine 90, that is 0. Next, cosine 60, 0 0.5, that is 1 half. Next, cosine 45, okay, square root of 2 over 2, equivalent to 0 0.7071. Cosine 30. Yeah. Cosine 30 is square root of 3 over 2 in decimal 0 0.8660 and so on. And last, cosine 0 and is equal to 1. Tapos na tayo kay sine tsaka kay cosine. Proceed naman tayo kay tangent. So gamitin pa din natin illustration natin para sa ating math trick. We have the 90, 60, 45, 30, and 0, which are all special angles and quadrantal angles. So we have the formula for tangent. Tangent x is equal to square root of the numbers of finger below over square root of the number of fingers about. So, ito na natin. Let's say we have tangent 90 degrees. Square root of fingers below. Below 90, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 4. Over fingers about. Square root of wala naman tayong fingers above 90 so that is 0 pwede natin i-simplify square root of 4 is 2 over square root of 0 is 0 so ang denominator natin is 0 that is undefined undefined I-check natin mamaya gamit ang calculator. Next, tangent 60 degrees. 60 is equal to square root of fingers below. So below 60 is 1, 2, 3. So 3 over square root of fingers above, we have 1. Simplify natin, that is square root of 3 over 1. Square root of 1 is 1. Pero since 1 naman ang denominator, pwede natin siyang isulat as square root of 3 na lang. Tangent 45 degrees. 45, square root of fingers below is 1, 2. Over, above, square root of 3. Square root of 2 divided by square root of 2. That is 1. Parang 2 divided by 2 lang din. So 1. Next, tangent 30. 
degrees. So we have fingers below. So that is 1, square root of 1 over fingers above 1, 2, 3. Square root of 3. Square root of 1 is 1 over square root of 3. Mayroon tayo na bawal ang radical sa denominator natin. So we need to rationalize. So times square root of 3 over square root of 3. So that is square root of 3 over square root of 3 times square root of 3. That is square root of 3 times 3, which is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. And we have tangent 0 degrees. We have 0 below, wala naman. So square root of 0 over above square root of 4. In this case, square root of 0, 0 over square root of 4, 2. So 0 ang ating numerator, so that is 0. Verify ulit natin gamit ang calculator. So we have tangent or tan 90. 90. A math error. Bakit math error? Kasi ang value natin is undefined. Undefined. Next. Tangent 60. 1.732. Square root of 3. Okay. Check natin yung value ni square root of 3. Square root of 3. 1.732. Tama. Tangent 45. Tangent 45. 1. So 45 is 1. Next. Tangent 30. 30. 0 0.577. So I check natin ito. The square root of 3 equals divided by 3. 0 0.577. So correct. And last one, tangent 0, which is 0. 